Hello Guardians, it is Ebontus here, and we have the Travelers Chosen. So how do you get it? Well, I'm going to go through the entire steps from start to finish for the Exodus quest. The first part is the preparation missions. Uh, there were four pieces to that. It actually launched like two months ago in July. So if you guys do want to skip ahead to the stuff that launched today on September 8th, the evacuation pieces, you guys can jump ahead to the timestamp on screen. Also, timestamps are going to be down below for the planets for the evacuation. Preparation is pretty straightforward, so we're going to cover that pretty quick. And then jump ahead to evacuation planet by planet. So here we go. All right, Guardians, so if this is your first time doing the preparation quests, maybe you've taken a couple months off, jumping back in, the preparation is fairly straightforward. And you're going to do this on four different planets. You're going to do it on Titan, Io, Mercury, and then Mars in that order. And all you really have to do is you'll talk to Zavala first. He's going to kick, kick this thing off. And then when you go to each planet, you'll talk to the planetary NPC. So we'll start with Sloan, for example. The rest are going to be exactly the same. All you have to do when you get your quest step from the NPC is complete one of these weekly bounties. They're fairly straightforward. Um, the most you know, important piece of advice that I can give you is just try and pick the most efficient one. Some are going to be a little easier than others, for example. This one says defeat combatants with energy weapons. You need 80. That's not going to take you all that long. Go find a gnawing hunger or pretty much any reasonable energy weapon and you'll be good to go. Alternatively, you can do a strike on Titan, which is only Sabathun's song here, and defeat 75 Hive. Now, if you do Sabathun's song, you're definitely going to kill 75 Hive. If you take an energy weapon into Sabathun's song, you'll probably complete both of these, but at least you'll for sure have finished one. So, for example, this one, as it's kind of a guarantee to get 75 Hive and just finish a strike, what's a strike take you? 10, 12 minutes? Knock that one out, and then go on to the next planet. All of these work the same. So... Talk to the NPC, pick up your, you know, quest for the planet, knock out your weekly bounty, come back and talk to the NPC, go off to the next one. So Aya will be next, you talk to Asher Mir, he'll have you, you know, a couple weekly bounties there. Once you finish with Asher Mir on Io, you will go back to Zavala for kind of like a, a mid-quest check-in. He's going to give you the Malicious Birthright, which is the Kinetic Special Grenade Launcher, so there's not too many. Unfortunately, all of the weapons that you're going to get from this quest line are old. They're going to be sunset going forward, so that doesn't really help any of us very much. But either way, if you're looking to kind of complete collections, most of these are actually strike-specific weapons. So some of you guys may be missing these, so it's a nice way to complete those. Once you're done with Zavala, you're going to go to Mercury, talk to Brother Vance, do one of his weekly bounties, and then go to Mars, talk to Anna, complete one of her weekly bounties. And then after that, you're going to head back to Zavala, and he is going to finish the preparation piece. So once you're done with part one, which is the preparation pieces for all the planets, you'll come back to Zavala, and now, as of today, September 8th, you can go on to step two, which is evacuation. So you'll talk to Zavala, you get the first quest, and we're going to travel to the planets and go through each of these pieces kind of as quickly as we can. So first, we're going to go to Ashramir, talk to him, and he's going to give you his little text. I'll leave it on screen, or you guys can read it in game for just a second here, but you guys can talk to him, and he's going to give you the first step of the quest. What you're going to do is go to... Um, the Lost Sector that is right next to him. It's the Sanctum of Bones. You need to collect uh, Traces of Corruption by defeating Taken. 25 Taken. There's plenty in that Lost Sector, so kill all the Taken you can find. Should be good to go. You have to finish the Lost Sector Sanctum of Bones, and you need to collect a Taken sample from an extra boss that is in the final chest room of Sanctum of Bones. It's a Taken Phalanx, and the name is Barism. Barism? I'm probably saying that completely wrong. Barism. I'm not entirely sure, but it's the Altered Phalanx, uh, taking one in there, and it's actually got a lot more health than the normal Lost Sector bosses will take you just a little bit to go through, but the Traces of Corruption will be dropping the whole time you're in there from Taken, so plenty of Taken. This one should, this step basically should be done while you're in the Lost Sector. Once you're done with the Lost Sector, next thing you'll need to do is go to the Pyramidian. So literally just go to the Director, boot up the Strike, and you'll need... 40 scan traces. Now it says by defeating Vex anywhere on IO, nice thing is you have to do the Pyramidian and scan traces at the same time. So just go straight into the strike. It's much easier. You'll have plenty of Vex to kill in there. And as you're going through, you'll see the Vex, the Vex will drop the scan traces constantly. You finish the strike and you're done. After that, you'll finish up uh, this planet by going to Unexpected Guests. It'll be a heroic mission. 
If you pull up the director, you won't have to find the little baby adventure icon as usual. It's actually going to look almost like one of the secret missions that you can find. Unexpected Guest is right here on the director. Go through that, finish that whole entire adventure. So kind of all of this is kind of a run through memory lane. When you get done with that adventure, go talk to Asher Mir. He's going to give you a little bit of text to read through, and you will also get the duty-bound auto rifle. Now, the weapons that we're going to be getting throughout this entire chain are some that were strike-specific strike exclusives uh, and just older weapons. You're not getting a new version of it, unfortunately. As you can see, the icon on it is still, unfortunately, the old one. So it's not going to be you know useful when it comes to Beyond Light. This is going to be sunset along with everything else. But in case you're missing any of these for collection purposes, this is a nice way for them to give them to us in case this might have been like the one thing you were waiting on a random drop for, especially because the strikes are going away. Well, they're giving them to you now. All right, so after IO, next place we're going is Titan. We're going to go talk to Sloane. She's got her little text on screen. If you guys want to go deeper into the lore, I can totally discuss that in another video, just trying to cover the general tips of what you're going to do. And her pe first piece of the quest is uh, going into the Lost Sector uh, Methane Flush. It's the one in Siren's Watch where Sloane is. It's actually just, if you look at her like face on, out the right door, and just underneath that like landing zone platform, that's the opening for Methane Flush. Down in there, normally it's a lost sector where you fight a wizard, but you'll actually find a bonus knight, uh, Dekthra, who's down there in the bottom. Uh, if you have the wizard, like I killed the wizard in the first room just because I was using a sword or something big and died fairly quickly. Uh, but if you don't kill the wizard, you could have the wizard and this giant knight in the same room along with a few other adds. So be careful. You might have to do some of this from range. So, you know, take your time, work through here. Once you kill the knight, though, and make sure you open the chest, you have to complete the lost sector by opening the chest and defeat this knight, we'll be moving on to the next step. Once you're done with that lost sector, we're going to the Arcology, the big Solarium section. Now, what you're going to need to do here is kill three Ultras. Now, the Ultras themselves are located in two sections. One, you've got the Solarium. When you when you enter the big room in the Arcology, like, so if you land in the rig and go all the way like you'd be going to the Savathun Song Strike, this section where you got kind of the grass in the middle and the big open area, this is where you'll find the first guy. This is Pyrrhon Rid, Treasure of Savathun. And then if you're looking at this picture, the doorway that is actually directly behind this knight is the direction you're going to want to go. And that's going to head you towards the festering halls. You're going to find this is the first ogre, not too far into the festering halls. Key for Key Fonrez, I'm probably saying that butchering it, uh, the rapacity of Savathun. And then even farther in, you're going to find Zumbo, the voracity of Savathun. Once both of these are down, make sure you pick up the chests inside of them and you'll get the piece you need to move on to the next step. Final big step here we've got, I think this is the final step. Uh, you've got to complete the Strike Savathun Song and defeat Hive Ogres, Wizards, and Knights on Titan to collect Tech Fragments. Again, you gotta do the Strike. There's a lot of these things in the Strike itself. So go into the Strike first. If you miss anything, then you either can boot up the Strike again, go to a Lost Sector, there's other places to find these. But as you're going through this one specifically, Make sure you're tagging, doing like some damage, but is what I mean by tagging, like a couple bullets, one sniper shot, whatever it is you can do on all of these types of enemies as possible. You may not kill, be the one to kill them, but at least if you do a little bit of damage to them, you should be getting the tech fragments as you go through. So go to your director again, find Savathun Song, and as you boot it up, you'll be going through killing knights, killing ogres, and as long as you're seeing the tech fragments pop up, that's the key. So if you're not seeing these things pop up, make sure you're putting damage on the enemies in the strike. Now, some people run strikes and run through them quickly. So you might need to pick up the pace of your running, try and keep up with some of those people who are booking it through the strikes. Uh, just so you can continue to do damage. Again, you don't have to get the final blow. It seems just as long as you do some damage to the enemies, you should be getting credit for these. Once you finally get all those um, pieces, head back to Sloan. She's going to finish up her piece. She's going to give you the duty-bound auto rifle, and she's also got her text kind of explaining her story of what she's going to do, as again, if you guys want to hear about the lore, it's totally fine, um, just let me know, I'd love to actually go into it, because these are all kind of cool little stories that they're going to do. Once you're done with Sloan, we'll head back, get your pick of your duty-bound auto rifle, and then we will head back to Zavala, and he is going to give you the Mindbender's Ambition as this kind of in-between. Now, it also looks like to be a decent Mindbender's Ambition. It looks like to be um, a Masterworked version. I don't know if it's like the curated role per se from the actual like Hollowed Lair Strike. I'm sure for some people it would be kind of annoying to get the curated role from this. 
because people have farmed for that for a very long time. Either way, this is going to be sunset, so not a big deal. Uh, once you finish and pick up your Mindbender's Ambition, you'll head over to Brother Vance on Mercury, and he's going to have his little flavor text to start out the quest. So first thing you're going to need to do is go run the Garden World and pick up Timeline Fractures. To get those, you're going to need to kill Hydras, Minotaurs, and Cyclopses on Mercury. And again, run the Strike of Garden World. If you don't get all of them you need, then you should be able to run around Mercury, find a couple of these guys, maybe boot up the Strike again. Either way, as long as you're tagging these enemies, there should be plenty in this Strike for you to finish it on one run. I was running with a, bu uh, a buddy through this one, and as long as you're just like paying attention, trying to do damage, and keeping up with your team, you should be able to finish the Timeline Fractures or any of these Strike requirements in one Strike one. I didn't have to do anything else besides finish each one of these like Strikes, and I got everything else I needed from them. Just make sure you're doing damage to all the different enemy types that you need to, so then when they die, you get credit for it. Once you're done with that, same principle, we're going to go into the Tree of Probabilities, and we're going to get 40 Traces of Osiris. This one's a little easier, just need to defeat Cabal. So any Cabal that are out there, make sure you damage them as everybody's doing damage throughout the strike. You should have plenty of enemies to kill throughout this one. It's a pretty long one, so lots of stuff to cover. And once you get done killing all of those Cabal, finish up the mission, or the strike itself. And again, as you guys can see on screen, as I'm killing just any Cabal, Traces of Osiris are you know on the screen. Lots of them throughout the mission. Once you're done with that, you're going to do the bug in the system, Heroic Adventure. This one takes a little while, I'll be completely honest. This one is longer than I, th I remembered it being just because you've got waves of enemies to go through and there's always one that kind of glitches it for a second. It takes a little while. It's not the most difficult thing in the world, just kind of like a little almost tower defense thing as you're defending this little spot. There's always one that seems to teleport directly to what you need to defend, so no matter what you're doing, you're always going to have to like kill that one to kind of take the little break, start it over again. Either way, finish that adventure, uh, which again will show up on the director same way as before. Easy to click on and find. Once you finish that, speak with Brother Vance. He's going to wrap up by giving you the DFA hand cannon. It was the one that came from the Tree of Probability Strike. He's going to tell you a little bit about what he's going off to do. And then we're going to head over to Mars and talk to Anna Bray. Now, Anna Bray is going to have her little text here again as well. Again, you guys can pause to read this text if you want to. You can go through the mission, read it all here. There's actually some cool stories of what they're planning on doing and what's going on. So make sure you guys read some of this. The lore is actually fairly cool. And the lore books that all of this opens up, there's even more to that. First thing she's going to tell you to do is investigate Mind Lab Resputin for a signal from Resputin. So you're going to need to go on the map. And you're going to need to go like you're heading into Resputin's area farther up on the map. And once you do that, you need to defeat bosses in Escalation Protocol to collect pieces of Resputin's Shattered Frame. Now, it took me until Wave 4 to get enough bosses defeated. And as you go through, again, here's Wave 3. Here's the Resputin piece. This big knight had died. As you guys can see, it dropped. It was Wave 4, I think, when you started to have multiple bosses when I finally got all the ones I needed. Uh, and at that point, once you've got the five Resputin pieces, then you need to complete the adventure Deathly Tremors. This one's actually pretty simple. You're going to head back to the landing zone on Mars. Go ahead and finish this one. Again, shows up on the director. Pretty obvious, easy to spot. Once you're done with that, head back to Anna Bray, and she's going to give you the Braytech Osprey rocket launcher, along with her text of letting you know what she's going to be doing. The Braytech Osprey, Ro Osprey rocket launcher evaded me for a very long time as I worked on the Wayfarer title. So for those of you guys who are getting it this way, you're lucky. That's all I'm going to say. Last thing to do once you get your rocket launcher from her is head back to Zavala in the tower, and he is going to give you the Traveler's Chosen. But before he does, let's uh, see what he has to say. So this is how it ends. Anna Bray will join us in the tower with what she salvaged of Rasputin. But the rest... Let Brother Vance chase shadows. We can waste no more time trying to stop him. Ashamir will stand and fight. He still has the heart of a guardian. And Deputy Commander Sloan. She plans to meet the pyramid above Titan head on, one woman against the darkness. What more could I have done? I tried to unite the Vanguard, but now we lie splintered in the face of the Dark Fleet. All we have left is our faith. Faith in the Traveler, faith in the light, faith in you. All right, Guardians, just to give you an idea of how this thing works. Basically, as you kill enemies, you get these gathering light stacks. They do stay on the gun even if you switch back and forth. If I use all of my abilities, so if I use this, 
Can't use my melee and then my class item. And then I actually do an extended reload with this stack. Completely refills my abilities. So very cool weapon. Lots to come in a review in the future, so stay tuned for that one. But for now, thank you guys very much. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please drop a like below. Leave a comment if you have thoughts about this weapon. Also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so and hit that alert bell. That'll get my future videos coming into your feed. Hopefully if they make it through YouTube. Otherwise, you can find me on Twitch and Twitter. It's Ebontis on both. Twitter's where I just kind of do all my news and updates on all those things. And Twitch is where I'll be streaming Destiny 2 and many other things. So come hang out and chat and say hello. Thank you guys very much. I'll see you soon.